Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Kimmy Vapes here, and today I've got a review on the Mojo Kit by Vupu. Let's have a vape, go down below, and see what comes in the kit. Okay, and here it is, the Mojo Kit by Vupu. Now, the Mojo Kit was sent to me for the purpose of this review by Vupu themselves. Let's go ahead, open up the box, and see what comes in the kit. Okay, so when you open up your box, you're going to see that it comes with a warranty card, an instruction manual for the Mojo Mod, and an instruction manual for the U-Force Sub-Ohm Tank. Here we have the Vupu's Mojo Mod. And then underneath is where you will find your accessories, including the O-rings and a spare coil head for the Vupu tank, the U-Force Sub-Ohm tank, a two amp charging cable, And also you'll see in there, it comes with a spare glass for the U-Force sub-ohm tank. Let's go ahead and take a look at the U-Force sub-ohm tank real quick. Now I have, ref have done a review on the U-Force sub-ohm tank on my other review of the Vupu 2 mod. So if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check that video out. Real quick, just a few things about the Vupu sub-ohm tank. It is a 24 millimeter sub-ohm tank. It takes Vupu coil heads, which the coil head pre-installed that comes with it is a 0.4 ohm coil head and is rated from 55 to 65 watts. I really enjoy this tank. If you go back and you watch my other review, you'll see that I am a big fan of the U4 sub-ohm tank and I'm really glad to see that they paired it with their Mojo Mod. So since I've already talked a lot about this tank in my other review, let's go ahead and sit that to the side and take a look at the Mojo Mod. And here it is, guys, the Vupu Mojo Mod. Now this mod measures 82 millimeters long by 38 millimeters wide by 27.5 millimeters. However, though it's 27.5 millimeters down here, it does taper up to the usable space for your atomizer is only going to be 24 millimeters. So any atomizer bigger than 24 millimeters is going to have some overhang. The connection is a spring-loaded 510 connection. I've had no problems with the connection on here. The material is a zinc alloy, which is painted. There are several colors that this comes in. I have the red, and you'll see here the branding Vupu Mojo. On the bottom, you'll see vent holes on both the side of the screen and the back side. This is an internal battery with a capacity of 2600 Ma. And at the USB, which is both for upgrades, customization, customization on Vupu's software as well as fast 2 amp charging. To turn on the mod you'll just five clicks and then you'll see the Vupu mojo and then you have your screen. The screen is fairly bright it's not the brightest screen I've seen before, but it does okay. And just like the other Vupu mods, this does have the Gene chip in it. So it's the, as far as the menu system goes, it is the same as on the Vupu Drag and the Vupu 2 menu system. To change from power mode to temperature control, three clicks and you'll go into temperature mode. The first option that comes up is stainless steel. Three clicks again will take it to nichrome. Three clicks, titanium. Three clicks, back to wattage mode. To enter the menu system, you have your up button, 
and your down button, which is concealed in these little uh, metal accents here. So to enter your menu, you'll just press on both sides and that'll take you to your menu where you have your normal wattage mode. To toggle the menu, you'll again use the up and down buttons on the sides here. You'll have your, at the very bottom of the menu is your information, which will tell you what version. Then the SN, which is the serial number of the chip. Your lock feature, which if you click that, you can lock the mod so that you cannot adjust the up and down. It won't allow it to adjust. Your customization modes, which you have five customization modes that you can set up. And then, of course, back to your wattage. Now, this mod, like all the other chips, of course, adjusts in 0.1 watt increments. In temperature control, you're going to go from 200 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit, and the, uh, and the equivalent in Celsius. So that is the chip, which I've shown, as I said before, is shown in my Vupu 2 review, which if you haven't, go ahead, take a look at that. I talk more about the chip a little bit. Um, I've already said I'm a big fan of this chip. So not really else, anything else to show about this mod. It's a nice little compact, sorry, focus there compact mod. I really do like the paint finish on this and it is nice and ergonomic in the hand. Fairly small mod, but again, it's an internal battery mod, so uh, all your cha charging is gonna be done from the USB port there. So let's go ahead, go back up top, have a vape on it, and I'll give you my thoughts and opinions. All right, so that was an up and close look of the Mojo and U-Force tank. Now, what do I think about the Mojo kit? Well, I'm not unhappy with it at all. It's actually a really nice little kit. As you'll notice here, I'm not vaping on the stainless steel U-Force tank. And that's simply because I already had a U-Force sub -ohm tank in the black and red. And I just liked the way it looked with the black and red tank on it versus the stainless steel one that came with the red kit that I received. So that's just more of a preference for me as far as aesthetics. I thought the black looked really really nice up there on the mod. Uh, the mod is just an 88 watt little banger mod. It does temperature control and it does temperature control really well. So I find that this mod shines in some areas. In some areas, it's just kind of underwhelming. So the reason why I say it shines in some areas is because it does good temperature control and it only goes up to 88 watts. But if you like temperature control and say, you usually in temperature control, I don't push more than 40 or 50 watts through my coil because I usually am building in like a 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 ohm range. So I don't need a lot of wattage. This is really great in temperature control and the battery lasts a really long time in temperature control. But let's get to where it's kind of underwhelming. It is limited by the 2600 mAh internal battery. So the capacity, while if you're a low wattage vapor, will last you all day, depending on the atomizer that you put on top and how much wattage you're vaping at is to how long this battery is gonna last you. And because it is internal, I will say it's a con that you have to sit the mod down and let it charge. Now, I see where Vupu did something that was really great and that is that they included two amp fast charging. So if you do have to sit it down to let it charge, it charges really quickly. So I can drain the battery on this, sit it on my two amp charger, and in an hour I'm picking it back up, it's fully charged and I'm back vaping on it. So the con of it being a internal mod battery is sort of offset by it having the fast amp charging but it still means you're gonna have to sit your mod down and let it charge versus if it wasn't a internal battery you could just pop a fresh suit set of batteries in it 
ergonomics i really like the way it feels in hand in the hand it's much more ergonomic than some of vupu's previous mods that they've come out with the button design is going to be either you like it or you hate it i think uh, because they they tout it as being uh buttons that you don't see so the buttons aren't intrusive to the design of the mod visually um the buttons are seamless in the mod i guess you could say uh the way that they have built the up and down buttons into the side and the fire button above the screen here in the front which really doesn't look like a fire button when you're looking at it it just looks as part of that design there and the shape and the same way with the buttons on the side they all play into the shape of the mod which i think creatively wise and thinking about the aesthetics of the mod is beautifully done now whether or not people will like the up and down buttons on the side it took me a little while to get used to um, remembering that which button is the up which one's the down and getting used to adjusting my wattage with these two buttons on the side once i got used to it though it doesn't bother me all i think it's really beautiful i think that they did good at sort of concealing those buttons and making it more a part of the design of the mod rather than like other mods just having an up and down button right there which we're kind of used to seeing so kudos to them for that as far as cons other than like i said it's limited to the internal ma battery and then my next con and this con is on you're limited to the size of tank that you can put on there uh the usable space on the 510 is only 24 millimeters so if you have a tank that's 25 millimeters or bigger you will see overhang all the way around at the top because they do have that 510 uh, platform raised up and also on the other side if you use any tank smaller than a 24 millimeter you're going to see a lip all the way around so for me that's a visual con i like it when i can put a tank on and it looks flush and i also don't like it when i use a smaller size atomizer and i can see a lip all the way around so i think as far as their design there that's a visual con to me other than that, I have no other cons about this mod. It's a great little device with a really great chip in it. If you're interested in picking up the Vupu Mojo Kit, I will include links down in the description to a couple places where you can pick it up. And as always, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. If you're not already, please hit that subscribe button. If you are a subscriber already, thank you for subscribing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you get notified the next time I upload a video. Until next time, see you guys later. Bye-bye.